we are living through an historic moment. There's no question about that. It's uh, a year that a hundred years from now, people will write about and they'll talk about 2020 and 2020 will have been the inflection point. 2020 will have been the tipping point. We've learned some of the opportunities online learning can offer, but we've also learned how online learning can magnify inequities among our students. We uh, see this at the university level where many of our students are dealing quite well with online learning, but that's only a segment of our population. And I worry a lot about the roughly 20% of our students who have resource constrained backgrounds who are not able to find a quiet room, not having the time even to put into their studies because they're having to help with their family, which is uh, there's a, been a loss of a job or a loss of care for younger children. So I, I think we've learned a lot. I think we've learned pluses and we've learned minuses, but it has magnified inequities. I think that's true actually at all levels of education. If I'm optimistic, I actually can see tremendous positive change coming out of this difficult, difficult year. I can see this as a time when our society really confronted a set of interconnected issues, climate change, social justice or injustice, racism, health disparities and inequities, it's a time when our society can saw all of those things on, on very clear display. And we said, we have to address this. We have to address this now. We cannot, we cannot let this be our future. And 2020 could be the year when we really focused as a nation, as a world on addressing the issues in front of us recognizing that they're interrelated, recognizing that we'll have to work on all of them to address any of them. And 2020 was the beginning of a beautiful future. <laughs>